Concussions are a serious problem in football, and not enough is being done at the NFL level. That's how a congressional panel feels. So United States representatives Stephen Cohen, Linda Sanchez, and John Conyers grilled a panel of NFL doctors, scientists, players, and helmet makers on how to make the sport safer for players. Sucking it up and continuing to play on can mean very serious and grave consequences down the line. Unlike the way they deal with them in Lubbock, Texas, uh, you should be sent to the neurosurgeon, not to the shed. The panel pressed Ira Kasson, who used to lead the NFL's concussion committee, to link football head injuries and brain disease, but he stuck to his stance that they aren't related. That the concept of permanent brain damage and dementia following repeated blows to the head is a very well-established and generally accepted principle in medicine. Would you agree with that statement? There's a lot more you have to say about yes, I agree, or no, I don't agree. Kasson resigned from the concussion committee in November. Dr. Bennett Omalu, a leading neuropathologist, disagreed with Kasson and believes that concussions and subconcussions can lead to dementia. Three documented concussions increase your risk significantly. In my practice as a forensic pathologist, I have seen severe brain damage from even one major concussion. The goal of this congressional panel is to create a safer playing environment at the NFL level that sets an example that trickles all the way down to the Pee Wee League football level. Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Detroit.